Hi folks, uh, thanks for taking a look at my blog today. Um, what we're going to look at today is a sheet metal that I actually did for a webinar yesterday, but I did it pretty quick and I had a couple people were wondering uh, some of the steps that I took. They said they really couldn't see where I was clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk through that uh, demo again and uh, show y'all uh, the actual details of how it's going to be done. Alright, so what I am referring to is this uh, belt guard that I did. I just did a Google search for belt guard and just found this one. It looked kind of interesting. Uh, so I decided to replicate this in uh, solid edge and actually see how fast it would take. And it's actually pretty pretty quick. So uh, I was actually quite amazed. I'm going to use some of the new technology that came out in 7. Uh, what I'm going to do as uh, a base feature, I'm, again, I'm in part file right now, so you notice I'm up in part. Uh, I'm going to create just the uh, profile of that guy right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create this outside shape as a block feature, then create a sheet metal body around it and use the part itself to drive the geometry. Uh, again, this is using some of the new uh, uh, transformed to sheet metal in uh, ST7. All right. So let's draw that profile. Let's see, I'm going to go 8 feet looks like a pretty good starting point, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tie that down, then I'll go ahead and let's finish off the rest of the sketch. Probably didn't make that tangent, but I'll go back and make that tangent here in a second. And uh, do the same thing here. Finish that off. All right, go ahead and a uh, couple areas that didn't quite get tangent. Go ahead and snap those. Tangent, and let's throw some dimensions on here while we're at it. Grab the edge there. Let's make this one a little smaller. Let's go with the... All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, getting some real dimensions here. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make it about a foot thick. That should work. Oops, and uh, let me go ahead and attach. Let me go ahead and reattach the. Oh, that will work as well. Let's go with that. So, fifty-inch overall height. All right, and go ahead and. Uh, Lock that one as well. All right, so we can go ahead and hide those. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, toggle this to what they call uh, a sheet metal body. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, first off, let's go ahead and save it. Oops, I forgot to do one step on this. So, all right, there is actually a, a jog at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and accomplish that right now. And let me go ahead and tie that down. All right, good enough for me. All right, so uh, again, this command uh, is an ordered feature. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my uh, prismatic geometry in uh, synchronous, come over to ordered, and do a part to sheet metal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make this part a quarter inch thick. Uh, so I'm just going to start grabbing uh, the radiuses here, and you couldn't see it automatically starts filling that in. We need to make it uh, again 0.25. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what, let's keep the body for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and point the material outside. So we have our basic first sheet metal part here. So I can, you know, if, I want, if you wanted to see it uh, flatten. There you go. So there's your flat pattern of that. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is create the multi body. Oh, I forgot to do something here. Um, actually, uh, forgot the second part of that is the actual um, 
little uh, little indention that pops out here. I'm going to go ahead and add that after the fact. So what I'm going to do is create a multi-body part, and you're going to see what happens immediately when I hit add body. You're going to have you're going to have three parts in here basically. Uh, we'll car this uh, inside. Wait. And I'm just going to use a, a just some you know tab features. Um, and just since I'm going to go ahead and just do it on this surface here, we're just going to include the edges of my geometry here. So we'll just include the edges of the block. And uh, you know what? Oh, we got two edges. I'll just leave it as tangent wireframe. All, all right, so my profile turned black means it's fully defined. Let's go ahead and just uh, extrude it out now. That direction. All right. So now that uh, I did the multi-body design, I should have three parts in here. So I have the design body, which is the block itself. Uh, the uh, let's go ahead and rename this. We'll call this um, outside uh, sheet metal, and we have the inside plate sheet metal. So here is my design body, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and go ahead and toggle that back. I'm going to activate that body, and just turn off the geometry here. All right, so we're right back in business. So here's the original design. So I'm going to go ahead and add that other feature back into it now. All right, let me go ahead and make that centric to that and let's give it with there let's say 20 that'll work so let's extrude that out uh, let's make it six inches all right so you know you can see any given time I can go back to the original design body and I uh, and turn all the dimensions on there so it's still there uh, let's go ahead and uh, toggle back to ordered this is where this is where my sheet metal features are. So I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, again. I can turn the outside body back on. There's the inside plate, and now I have this body to accommodate the slot here because I want this uh, to actually have an opening here for this little part. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and activate my inside plate because the outside because uh, the uh, design body is the active part. So I'm going to activate this body. All right, so now I'm back in the feature for my uh, sheet metal part. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do a cutout on it. I'm just going to come over here and just do a cut. And now that I have the shape of this part, I'm just going to go ahead and include it. Uh, I'm just going to say include that, include that, include that, and uh, just I guess I can just leave it as an open profile. So let me go ahead and turn off my design body so I can just see the plate. Right edge. There we go. All right. So we'll go ahead and pop that out. Perfect. All right. So now let's go ahead and do the outside body or outside plate. Turn that design back on. Let's do another body. We'll call this. Um, No cutouts on this side, so again, I'm just going to do it exactly like I did in the first one. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and include, do it correctly this time. I'll say tangent wireframe so I can get the whole thing at one shot. And then just get the last few edges. There we have it. And again. Go ahead and offset this outside, thickness outside. All right, so we got that pretty much done. Let's go ahead and create the little band that would uh, work on this guy right here. So we're going to work on this part. So that will be a contour flange. Uh, let me go ahead and save, save while we're working here. Save and save often. 
All right, add body. And we'll call this just band. All right. Oops, what am I doing? I want to do just a uh, contour flange. Uh, so I'll just, uh, again, uh, just do it on this face right here. And uh, again, I'll just include that same edge. Just like I did on the previous one. And let me hide the... I guess I could have tied it to the inside plate. Didn't make a difference there. I need to hide that one. All right. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and uh, extrude that out. Oh, I need. I do need to turn the design body back on. Uh, I want to say. I guess uh, material inside on this one. And go ahead and click that edge of it. There we go. So let me hide this. So we got that, that, that. So uh, basically, all I need to do is create this plate right here and uh, I think we'd be basically done all right well obviously there's a few more panels in there to cut out but uh, the, the whole the physical design would be pretty much done so let's go ahead again turn on my design body say add body guess what we're gonna do another tab click right there and let's do the include again Tangent wireframe. And I'm going to actually let's do this. Let's go ahead and accommodate. I believe there's a slot in there. Yep, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do the slot while we're at it. And we'll make this one concentric. And we'll make these two outside equal. And we'll give it a width on the inside for a slot. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and close my profile. Material outside. All right. Save. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish these so we can bring this to an assembly. Once I do this, then I can do welds and, you know, go ahead and give it, uh, see how much this whole thing's going to weigh. Uh, but you notice we have a design body in here. I don't, I don't want the design body to actually be as a part of this assembly because that would show up in my bill of materials as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, come over here and actually take my uh, design body and toggle it to construction. All right, so now we go ahead and save, and now let's republish. Now you notice we just have the sheet metal parts in here. So I'm going to go ahead and save my files. So it's going out there and actually creating individual part files for each of these. That way my bill of material will be correct once I create it. And done. All right, so let's open up the assembly. And here we have it. All right, so let's, uh, you know, at this point, I would go through and add some weld beads. So let's go ahead and toggle this assembly as a weld mint once it's done saving. Sorry for that. A little slow on my laptop. All right, so tools, and uh, we're going to say weld. So this is going to let you toggle this as a weldment so you can add your weld beads. So now I have the ability to put some fillet welds on here. We're just going to use the default, which is a quarter inch uh, fillet. All right, so uh, let's pick a few faces here.
and a couple more faces and one last face all right oh I forgot to put the slot for this one but that's not a big deal I could add that anytime all right uh, go ahead and save it let's go ahead and inspect it let's add some materials to it and publish it back to the part itself and I could have actually did that while I was creating the parts uh, but sometimes I find it easier just to do that while I'm in the assembly if all the parts happen to be the same material which in this case they are Now it's going to prompt me for some material, so I'm just going to say steel and uh, tell it to go ahead and push that all back to the part files themselves. Updated here, now we're looking at uh, maybe 527 pounds of uh, belt guard. Alright, so what's cool about the way I designed it is, of course, we have the assembly copy here, so I can just open that back up. Alright, so again, I can go right back to uh, synchronous. And guess what? We have a little block here. Uh, so I have all my dimensions on here, so let's turn these on. Let's go ahead and shorten this up a little bit and uh, change some of the radiuses here. I have my. Uh, what you're seeing there is the. Um, Live Rules Auto Solution Manager, which uh, brings up colored faces and tells you what uh, what uh, is valid, what's not valid, and how it can be modified here. I guess it's going to snap to the radius. I lost that one, so let's go ahead and put that back on there. Sorry about that. There we go. Looks good. All right, so I changed that. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and make it a little, little bit uh, shorter, so we'll say 45. All right, save. All right, back to my, go back to order if you just want to go ahead and see it, or I can just go ahead and just close it right back to the assembly, and you'll actually see it they actually update here, dynamically live, and all the different parts. All the weld beads will automatically update. So now let's uh, do the inspect physical properties. Let's update this. It was 527. Now it's 358 pounds. So, you know, just by changing a few dimensions and uh, we got the weight down. And, we, of course, we got all the different panels that we could detail. So, you know, if you have a situation where you have a, a part that you use all the time, just make different sizes of it, you know, using multi-body and uh, driving it through a, a part design like that, uh, could be very 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 handy all right because you know again it took me only a few minutes this is only the third fourth time i've actually drawn this so it's not like a demo i've been practicing for a year uh this is just something i came up with off on the fly and uh it works very seamless all right so again thanks for uh taking a look and uh, uh hope you all check out our new our webinars coming up soon and keep looking back for our blogs all right thanks guys